I started putting my heart, man, in that machine. <laughs> and I started thinking, how can I make this better? How can I make this easier? How, do we really need three people here? And, uh, and I started doing these things. And then I looked at bro, uh, all the records we used to have, and uh, I put things in place, and I was a steward. So they promoted me stewarding supervisor, and imagine this, Jeffrey Norutano was a hotel. That hotel was very blessed to have a stewarding supervisor that is about to graduate from university. So everything that I learned in menu engineering, for example, about food and beverage, <laughs> I tried to put the same thing on OSNE and to get us as a department to order things three months forecasted before they come. The whole company. And uh, what, what happened as uh, they started moving me around. And again, you know, this is a blessing. I was in the right place at the right time. Rotana had 17 new openings. So they kept on sending me to new hotels, and new hotels I had in the building. Then I got very interested in banqueting and housekeeping. And I started doing the same, trying to look at hospitality from a scientific point of view. Why should we do it this way? And then they promoted me and from stewarding supervisor to stewarding manager to assistant FMB, food and beverage. Then I left to Rotana. You know, it was a lot of pain. I really loved that company. And I went to a new company that I fell in love with called Anantara. And uh, Rotana taught me how to be a very good local player. So the sales and marketing that I know today, that I learned about how to deal with the local market comes from Rotana. And then I moved to Anantara, which Suddenly I became on the international market, you know, it's owned by a company called Miner. And I realized this person started earlier than me. So the uh, founder was 18. And for the first time, this is where I had a shift and I needed help. I started looking on how can I improve myself. And once I decided what I'm going to be, I was sitting with my friends. And I think then I was 24. And I said, you know what, I want to be CEO when I'm 26. Okay, this is enough. I want to change corporate culture and the only way I can do it is if I can really influence a lot of number of people. My own friends that love me, by the way, and then here they are in this room, they laugh. They're you nuts. No, are you crazy? So I really went into it in an Ampara. I learned you have to do your job, but also you have to do something on top of your job that serves the company so you deliver results.